Here we are, a year after I made the first part of why Spectacular Spider-Man needs to come back. Why does it take me so long to make this video? Uh, I don't know, I just made an entire darky series. Welcome to part 2. Last time we talked about an episode called Natural Selection, where this kid's show does a great job of showing a man lose himself in his work all while becoming a monster. And now today we're taking a look at a very similar episode, just this time it's not Dr. Connors changing himself into the monster. It's the beginning of our hero becoming a monster. The episode title itself serves as a metaphor, with it being titled Persona just as we find out Chameleon is pretending to be Spider-Man. And we all know Chameleon is a character that shifts into other people, changing his own persona. We even see Spider-Man go through this in this episode, donning the black suit for the first time, losing a sense of who that original Spider-Man is. We even see him at the very end of this episode lie and not give back the black suit. This episode's all about character, all about changes, and all about persona. I promise that's the last time I'm saying that this episode. But it's all about what makes us, us. So question, what makes you, you? What makes you so different from everyone else? Is it the shows you watch, the movies you enjoy, the music you listen to, or just downright to the way you look? All these complex questions, all these big ideas are handled in this very episode. News breaks out that Spider-Man is robbing banks. He's up to his criminal ways just as Jonah predicted. But the only thing is, he's not. Peter was there. Peter knows. Peter is Spider-Man. He didn't take it. Well, I mean, I mean, he did, but not knowingly. However, Jonah is thrilled. As time goes on, more Spider-Man crimes are happening. He's robbing banks. He's beating up security guards. He's gone full GTA 5. There's a moment where Peter's mind is already cluttered. He already doesn't feel like himself. But just as this happened, the suit starts to form over him. Already showing that there's a connection between his emotions and the suit. When Spider-Man has the alien, he's stronger. He feels like a better Spider-Man. Why would he ever want to take it off? Regardless if it's his or not, he is stronger. Can you blame him? If you had some magical shoe that made you jump like Michael Jordan, would you take it off? Also, is that already a movie? Eventually, Peter gets sick of this imposter impersonating him, pretending to be Spider-Man, pretending to be him. When Peter finally confronts the chameleon, we get a really cool line. The real one? You don't even have the costume right. I'm in mourning for my buried rat. <laughs> As the two fight, Spider-Man's really comfortable now. He's enjoying this newfound strength. As the fight goes on, we see the black suit Spider-Man versus the classic red and blue. This parallels what's going on with Peter and the symbiote. This new suit is going to be fighting the old Spider-Man. It's the new Spider-Man versus the old. And in a sense, although it's oversimplified, the good versus the bad. Dark versus the light. A spectacular moment in a spectacular show. Spectacular Spider-Man needs to come back. 